Why do a lot of your leading manufacturers sell their firearms in a cardboard box, and sometimes with only one magazine? The first answer is one, it takes less money to create more sellable products. So with all things being created equal, if you have X amount of dollars and you exclude the case or somehow make it slightly cheaper, in the end you'll end up with a couple more sellable products that you can make a profit off of. The second answer is, internet sales aren't as popular as you'd think. Here, I mean it may vary at other stores, we sell probably 30 firearms to every one transfer that comes in. Now that number would even be offset more, probably more like 35 or 40. But we're still a smaller store, so if somebody wants a very particular firearm, unless we're about to place an order because there's an order minimum, you have to order X amount of dollars, otherwise there's extra fees taxed on, and then it really kind of windows down your profit. So if they want that specific whatever it is, we just have them ordered offline and we do a transfer for them for next to nothing. And our transfer fee is actually relatively cheap compared to other places around here, so I know we're not charging too much. And I think a lot of the manufacturers recognize this, that the majority of their firearms are going to be sold in a firearm shop. And it makes sense because myself, I would not send $500 out to buy a product blind. When it's in a shop, then I can hold it, I can look for defects, the shop's already inspected it, if there's anything seriously wrong with it, they've already sent it back, so I've already weeded out the major malfunctions, now just... Got to kind of glance over it and make sure they didn't miss anything. So when you have the two firearms sitting next to each other on the shelf and the specs are very similar, the easiest way to differentiate one firearm from another on the manufacturer side of things is the price. And that actually makes a huge difference. That affects a lot of people's purchasing decisions. What's the cheaper firearm? Where do I get my most bang for the buck? And they just don't see the case because that's not how you show them. They're not set up on top of their cases in the rack they're usually put in line right next to each other. No cases, no extra mags. It's just a firearm by itself with its single name. Sometimes mag. we can throw the case in there as a talking point to help close the deal. But usually if we're at that point, they've pretty much already decided they want to buy the firearm anyway. Not to mention if you include the case with the firearm, it basically makes the case worthless. Like if you ever go online and try to buy a Glock case, you can usually pick those up for around like 10, 20 bucks. And I know it takes more money than that to manufacture this. So when you sell your hypothetical batteries sold separately, you're able to keep the case more valuable. So then if you offer a case, but it doesn't actually come with the firearms, you have a chance to make another profit. And if internet sales were that powerful, what they do is they just sell the stuff themselves. But the majority of the people want to hold their product before they buy it. Otherwise, what they do is they just take the whole markup that's going to be made as it trickles on down through the line and sell it directly to the customer and only do transfers. And as you'll notice, only the really small manufacturers, there's very isolated ones that'll sell directly to the customers. So they have to adapt to make their firearms more appealing to the customer in the gun shop because they're typically sitting next to a whole bunch of similar firearms. And promotions and rebates are great, but let's face it, a lot of times the gun shops just don't know about them. So they don't tell the customers about them, so therefore they are not helping sales at all. What you need to do is just sell us the firearms as cheap as possible so we can just pass those savings on to the customers. And we all like free mags and cases, but when we're showing the firearm, this is all they see. Right here. Just the plain firearm with a single mag in it. That's what makes or breaks the sale. Another mistake I see a lot of manufacturers doing is the stocking dealer program. Yeah, that's all good and great if you're a huge gun shop, but there's way more smaller gun shops than huge gun shops. And like myself, for example, if I'm going to spend $5,000 on firearms, it's not going to be all the same manufacturer. I'm going to spread it out so I have a wider net and have a wider chance at capturing a customer. And the really popular manufacturers, you only get one mag, and it comes in a cardboard box. And that's for a reason. It's a very powerful sales technique. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.